Well, it is June 13th, and we are up in the Sac Zimbog today, and uh, we're gonna go deep in the bog, look for great gray owl. I know you think I'm crazy, but uh, I saw one on the, I think May 29th out on the road, and somebody else saw one on the road right around that time as well. This is a beautiful black spruce tamarack bog and it's a kind of a big island. There's a logged area to the north and a logged area to the south and a logged area to the west and a road to the east so there's got to be a nest back in here and I'm, I'm listening. Right now I've got some agitated golden crowned kinglets mad at me but I'm, I'm listening for a couple things. I'm listening for birds that are scolding. They don't care for owls in their in their uh, vicinity even though they don't eat birds they eat voles. And I'm listening for owlets begging for food because they should be out of the nest now. And uh, and uh, really loud and begging. And so it's it's like what seven seven thirty in the morning. And when they gotta feed hungry nestlings, they'll hunt till well, they'll probably hunt all day, but at least till nine or ten in the morning. Uh, especially on uh, kind of cloudy days. And it's cold. It's thirty nine degrees, so the mosquitoes aren't terrible. All right, let's go see what we can find. We are hunting with a gray gray owl. Right now he's he slash she is right over there. Bang has no no mind. Looks at me once in a while, but this is unbelievable. This owl is uh, hunting for some hungry beaks back at the nest, no doubt about it. that she just heard me unzipping my camera bag oh that was interesting it's 
staring intently at the ground right now, looking for uh, red-backed voles deep in the bog here in the moss, in the sphagnum moss. Well, that was pretty unbelievable. <sighs> unbelievable experience. But uh, now we gotta get out of here alive. So I'm gonna check my compass. Good old fashioned compass. We gotta head due north, that way. Um, sometimes I also check my iPhone. Um, problem with the iPhone and, and the built-in GPS is uh, they run out of batteries pretty quick so you should never rely on just the iPhone yeah let's get going <laughs> 